What makes people into hoarders? And by people, I mean me, and also help. Anthony here, and we have all heard stories, people with so much stuff that it fills their house and they're scared to let people see how they live, and people who have so many cats that they don't even notice that one of them got caught under a pile of old newspapers for months and died. These are stories from the extreme end of the hoarding spectrum, but it's estimated that it affects 5% of the US population, 15 million people. Now, hoarding breaks down into three main symptoms. It's the excessive collection of valueless stuff, it's the inability to get rid of things, and it's a huge inability to organize any of the things that you're actually hoarding. And there are a couple kinds of hoarders. The impulsive acquirer, who just loves the feeling of getting new stuff and then keeps it all because of personal interest or connections. Then there's the worried keeper, the person who thinks just about everything is going to come in handy later in some unknown or crazy hypothetical situation. So uh, just to get it out of the way, I've definitely got some mild hoarding tendencies in my family. My dad has this room in his place that you just don't go into. And then my mother has 30 years worth of magazine back issues in her garage. I've always been something of a collector of garbage. So that should tell you that I've got a vested interest here, but that probably also tells you a couple of other things. This is essentially an environmental issue, maybe even a genetic thing. And that's exactly what scientists have found. So they put a bunch of hoarders into an fMRI, because scientists love few things more than a good fMRI. And they found that asking those people to make choices about material possessions made the decision-making parts of their brain light up way more than it did in people without the disorder, which means hoarders actually have a higher emotional connection to physical stuff, just all stuff in general, but particularly things that they own, they're wired to. Hoarding has really only been studied for the last 20 years, and mental health professionals used to lump it in with OCD. But the new version of the DSM, that's that manual for psychologists that we talked about before, it's coming out next month, and it's making hoarding its own disorder. Which is great, because typical OCD treatments have been pretty useless on hoarders, and specialized therapy is really expensive and time-consuming, so having it classified as its own thing could get it recognized by insurance companies, which would make it cheaper for sufferers to get the right help. Hoarding being its own disorder, disorder also lends some credibility to a theory as to why it might exist. There are some people that believe it served an evolutionary purpose. Resources were scarce in early society, and people who valued things more and saved them more consistently might have had a survival advantage. But I do not know if I buy that, because I save empty plastic bags and five-year-old receipts. And I imagine caveman me would have just saved interesting leaves or dirt. Do you have hoarding tendencies or have to live with somebody who does? I'm sorry. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D-News.